Hi, hello guys, uh, my people. Morning. Uh, this is another beautiful morning. Uh, once again, uh, we thank God. Uh, you know, we need to thank God. If actually we have woken up in the morning and uh, you can see the beautiful sun like this one, uh, you need to thank God. So it's another day uh, with another challenge, with another experience, with other things to do. You know, we can't repeat doing uh, things that we have been doing each and every day. You know, so uh, today I really don't know uh, what uh, or how the day will be able to unfold. But uh, you know, you cannot actually miss something uh, to do. So I'm just actually getting uh, uh, in my restaurant now. We have just been dropped. Today, as you can see, you know, Kenya is very hot, so we are used to hotness. I dropped myself uh, so nicely today. Uh, not that uh, it is cold, but I uh, you know you keep warm. Maybe even Corona can penetrate inside uh, <laughs> inside the ears. So uh, I'm just here now. Uh, today I think we we'll learn a few stuff. You know, I take this opportunity uh, to able to showcase some of the things that uh, we can able to polish on, so that if you open our restaurants, you know we are ready to go. Boom, we just able to start uh, with the new skills that we have. So. Uh, yeah, have a good day and uh, let's meet. Uh, I've just arrived. This is where I work. Don't forget, as usual, as always say, uh, to subscribe, like, and share. Uh, thank you very much. And see you inside the restaurant. Uh, here we go. Uh, first thing first, as uh, I always say, uh, when you want to do uh, our orders, like uh, now, we want to do what is called a short black. That's what we're going to start with. Then we're going to end uh, with adopio. Then we'll get the difference between this short black and this uh, adopio. These are the terminologies that I've said. If you go in Australia, they are most commonly found actually in their menus. And we tend to ask ourselves what is a short black, but they are just simple things that we know. So the first thing that you're able to do uh, as a barista in the counter, uh, these are the tools that you need to have. First of all, make sure that uh, you are, uh, your scale is on because actually you need to take some measurements over here. Everything needs to go on, on a scale because you know in barista uh, speciality, everything needs to go on a scale. It's kind of dif different with the commercial coffee shops, not just a matter of pulling the shots and able to do. So here, the scale is a vital tool. So my scale is on. Next thing, I'll able to check my water filter. Make sure that your water filter is clean. I already cleaned it, but always make sure it's clean. Then on your group head, always flush the water. So we flush the water basically to remove the small chips that are actually have remained inside and also uh, to preheat uh, our machine uh, so that you cannot able to have a, a burnt coffee uh, when you're doing our extraction. So my water filter is clean. I always make sure that I clean, it is dry. We don't need actually a wet water filter so that our coffee can able to be uh, to be soaked and able to give us a bad result. So as you can see, uh, it is totally clean. My group head is flushed, it's okay. Uh, my temperatures are okay. These are the things that you need to check. So the next thing that you do, you actually have a, a, a weight of your water filter. Then you're gonna tear it. After tearing it, uh, you get actually a zero zero because what actually we are interested in over here it is the grammage of the coffee so take my water filter i've already tear so what is giving me here is the weight of the water filter but i have to be assured that uh, my scale is working so i'll put it back you need to give me a zero zero so it's giving me a zero zero so what i'll be getting inside the basket after the extraction will be exactly the weight of the what uh, i mean not the weight uh, we use grams uh, in coffee to be the grams of the coffee so today my dose actually that I want to use is 20 grams, so I'll pull my shot. And uh, the dosing, the extractions, uh, these are the topics that uh, we have discussed in my previous videos. You can just go and check, so I don't have to repeat about this one. So I always uh, do my tutorials by topic. So I've already pulled uh, my dose, but before I actually even do the leveling of the coffee inside the basket. So I'll have to actually to make sure that it is 20 grams. Put it on the scale uh, over here, and you, as you can see, it is giving me 
this one. But uh, my target today that I want for my calibration, I really want uh, uh, 20 grams because I'm doing a ratio of 1 to 2, uh, 20 grams out and uh, 40 grams uh, for the yield. Uh, so here, I always have uh, my star. This helps me actually to uh, take off a little bit of the coffee. Then the coffee that I'm taking on, I'm actually not throwing them. I, I'm putting them over here uh, because you know coffee is very expensive. So we don't throw the coffee. I take them and I put them over there. Then uh, I cover them nicely. So this coffee that I always put here, I don't throw it, I don't use it to give uh, people coffee with it, but I'll use it actually in the morning when I come, uh, because I always wash uh, my machine, and I always sterilize it, especially with the pizza. So it's a chemical for cleaning this one. So in the morning when I come, I always uh, flush the water, I take the coffee, uh, the clean it. So it's, I just need to, uh, to clean the machine, don't always throw this one. So as you can see, my dose there is 20 grams. So now I'm allowed now actually to do what? To do my leveling. So you make sure that uh, the coffee is inside the basket. It depends on how you do your leveling. Some will be able to do it like this, like this. Some will see them, they do like this. But the most, imp some do like this. But the most importantly is to make sure that your coffee is actually nicely inside the, the basket. So nicely leveled make sure because when we want to do our short black we actually need to have a very nice uh, drip of the coffee so my coffee is uh, is inside the basket so the next thing that I need to do as you can see I need to do what is called the tamping so tamping actually is uh, compressing the coffee inside the basket so and uh, actually it gives me also another uh, thing that I need actually to discuss in my previous tutorial on how to do the tamping uh, nice tamping like a pro and uh, how you're supposed to do it. So today, uh, you will pardon me on that topic, I will just continue to do my tamping, but also I've stressed on tamping in my previous videos. So as you tamp, always make sure that uh, you have a nice grip uh, on the counter like this, with my nice grip over here, then you're able to tamp like a pro. First of all, you put a small pressure on it, just a small pressure in the coffee, then now we exact the full pressure of estimated 30 pounds. Then as you can see now, my coffee is uh, nicely uh, tamped. I uh, make sure that uh, there are no chips inside. It needs to be like a, a pitch, a football pitch, nicely leveled, you see? Then you can take it back to the scale. And as you can see, it's giving me 20.2. So these are just small uh, decimal points you can use, but don't have a major uh, effect in terms of your coffee. So from here, uh, now we do our extraction. But before we do our extraction, always make sure that uh, you check your scale because now we have done the dose. So right here now we want to uh, get the yield now. The yield actually we also get in ML. And as I've told you, my ratio is one. Uh, uh, one to two so i'll do actually 20 grams of coffee and at the same time i'll do actually a 40 ml uh, of, uh, of, of our yield so always make sure again at uh, the uh, your scale is uh, actually up to date everything zero zero as you can see now it's safe this side on my left hand it always give me the what the time this side it gives me uh, the grams of the coffee so i always have my simultaneous uh, a time in my in my machine I use this one and also in the scale to be able to get actually things accurate so this is done next thing I'll able to take my cups uh, today I have very beautiful cups here because we are doing a short black short you know it's something from the terminology is short meaning it's something which is very small so always make sure that uh, you preheat your cups before you preheat your cups so that they can be hot and uh, basically here we use ceramic cups and we use ceramic cups to make sure they are hot and the most important thing that you need to know we actually uh, warm them up so that uh, they can able to retain the heat uh, of the coffee before the coffee gets the guest because right now we want to do a short black and it is very uh, the, for the short black is kind of tricky it needs to reach the guest as fast as possible so here we go all my cups are uh, are dry. I've removed the water. So 
So we fix our water filter into our group head yeah, over here, very firmly. As you can able to see, probably like that one. Then we plug in our, our caps over here as quick as possible because our coffee should not be burning from the group head. Then make sure that you tear. Then you extract your coffee from the group head, then set the time. So the flow of the coffee will be able to start, and you've seen my preview has start. So this is the time. The coffee will start dripping from around 8, 7, uh, 8, 10, as you can see. So that's my coffee is really dripping over there. And the drip of the coffee actually should drip like, a, uh, like some droplets of honey, not too fast, not too slow. So it depends also with the grand size of your coffee. About the grand size, uh, guys are able to show you uh, you know, subsequent topics. So you can see my time is running out, I'm having my ML and my target actually is uh, 40 ML. Don't always focus on the time, focus on the, on the ML. Here we go, tap, 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 close it over there. So you need actually to be uh, concentrating in this because this actually is out of concentration. So as you can see, uh, I have uh, 40, this is 40.7 almost, but uh, around of 40 ml. Then it's giving me actually a uh, 41, what, 41, uh, uh, 41, uh, 41 seconds. And in my machine, I don't want to terminate, I don't want to actually to to touch my camera because today I don't have a cameraman I'm alone but in my in my timer uh, over here in the machine is giving me 42 so just a difference of uh, one second uh, uh, per the timers so here I'm done uh, with the short black <laughs> I know you thought maybe the short black is something which is very strange but you never knew that is something that you always do so simply a short black is a shot of espresso as simple as that one so i can able to see this is my short black uh, this is my short black i don't know whether i'm able to see it has a very nice crema even i can able to shake it and the crema will still come and consolidate so meaning that it gives you a golden uh, brown color so this is actually how we do our short black so you focus on the grammages you focus on the yield and also you focus on the time so many people will be able to ask uh, why 41 seconds? Why 42 seconds? My friend, this is coffee specialty. And I have something which is called a clean fusion, something that I'll be able to stress on in, in the near uh, subsequent uh, video tutorials. So for my 41 seconds, there are so many things that which is happening in, into our group and see Like in my bigger machine, I have something called a ram down. I have something which is called a ram up and pre infusion. So this one machine has given me a pre infusion of um, eight seconds so the pre-infusion actually basically in simple terms is the time that takes before the coffee start dripping the mixture of the water and the coffee before it starts dripping and i'll able to focus on that one on much on a much uh, later date so it was eight for my pre-infusion so if i take 42 minus eight we'll be able to get 34 seconds it's a very interesting topic i'll discuss with you so as you can see this is what we call short black. Simple, it's just a single shot of espresso done in two cups. So it's a double, but single, single. So, and uh, there's a way how we also serve it uh, to our guests. I understand for the espressos, uh, I, I did a calibration in the morning. So I tested my espresso actually. It was so good. I don't want to drink it again, I'm, I'm already caffeinated. My body is actually uh, calculated now. Thank you much. Hope you're going to get the rating. So, but uh, this is a simple way how you're supposed to serve uh, our, our, our short black or in simple term our espresso. So we have, uh, we call them uh, like a, a biscuit uh, uh, beside and, uh, and a spoon. So basically, uh, guys, uh, this is my short black in simple term, uh, single espresso. So I've done uh, 40 grams 2020 uh, in it so basically uh, if you're being asked about a short black this is actually what we call a short black so thank you and let's catch up uh, when we'll be doing the now the so-called the dopio something that also you know but the name sound weird cheers